You just received a $2 bill as change to your cash purchase. Pretty cool. So, are you going to stash it away somewhere safe, or will you turn it around and spend it? What should you do? Hi, I'm John, director of the $2 Bill documentary, and this is a perplexing question for sure. You may know what you would do with your $2 bill, but YouTuber Noah Sibley wants to know if there are benefits to using the $2 bill rather than keeping them. Noah will receive a fresh $2 bill for submitting a question that I use to make a video out of, and you can too if you go to the community tab on my channel and submit a question that I use for a future video. So Noah, are there any benefits to using a $2 bill? I say absolutely. During the course of making the film from which this channel is based, I met numerous people who spoke of the joys they receive when spending a $2 bill. Like Heather, who's been using them for nearly two decades. When someone sees a $2 bill for the first time in a transaction, the person usually pauses, the eyes get wide, and then there's an emotional reaction. And the person looks at me, and we connect, the person shares a story. Then there's Matt, who spends them all over the Union Square Market in New York City. If not every, then almost every time that you give a two in a transaction, you're buying an apple, you're buying a, a piece of candy, you're buying a meal, people react and you, know, you get some more human interaction, you get a story, you get engagement. I love that. I think people who like stories are very taken by the $2 bill, because there, there is always a story. Nobody notices when you spend a five or a 10 or a 20, because it's common currency. Uh, two dollar bills are not. To me, the two dollar bill always will evoke a reaction because it's still a collectible, it's still a novelty, and so when it is seen in a cash transaction, it's regarded with shock, surprise, joy. And look at the express, just watch the person, and they'll look at it and they'll be like, like, I feel, and they'll keep it, and they'll keep it forever when you give somebody a $2 bill. I think the more $2 bills that are being passed around, the happier people are. It makes the cash transaction a lot more fun because you're, you're doing more than just paying for something. You're having an exchange with a person who's excited about this particular bill. By keeping your $2 bills tucked away somewhere, you may be missing out on opportunities to connect with people simply because you mistakenly believe the bills are rare or will someday have more value. To tell you the truth, that's kind of like my buddy's personalities. They'll hold on to it because, you know, they know they're rare and they kind of hang on to things because they don't think they're going to come around and get another one, you know, the next day. While those that spend them have something refreshing to look forward to. They like spending the bills and getting the reaction and seeing how cashiers and people react to getting $2 bills. At the bagel store that I go to, I gave a two one time and the cashier freaked out. I mean, freaked out was saying to everybody, do you see this? It's a two. She got it a $20 bill and she's like, you have more? Give me more. I'm going to buy up a ton of them. If you're talking about something rare, $2 bill, I think it's more rare to have such a happy cash transaction, but it's almost guaranteed if you're spending a $2 bill. I think the more you can spread it, the better. There you have it. In my opinion, there's unquestionably a benefit to using $2 bills, but you may be content to leave yours in your wallet or purse, and that's fine too. Share your opinion in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some more $2 bill content, which YouTube is now suggesting right next to me.